Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10, and it reads, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. That we be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere occupants, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. We got a job to do, brothers. The Lord said, He look, He has given us the gift of faith. Yeah, we, we're gonna suffer. But the Lord has given us the gift of faith. We must endure to the end. We got to constantly pray that we endure to the end. The Lord said we can't be slothful. When it comes to doing the work of the Lord, yeah, we get tired. We got schedules that are crazy and things of that nature, but this word must be pushed. The Lord said, give them warning from me. We got to produce to the best of our ability, whatever measure you have been measured with, you have been given. The Lord gave us talents. We got to use them. Can't take our talents and hide them up on a napkin just because we get tired, just because we're beat down. Pray for more strength. Every day, pray for more strength. Let's get this again. It's just something quick. I was watching um, the other um, Ariala video that he did earlier about just getting in a mind state of winning. Winning. You know, you, you want to win, you got to get in the race. You got to run. You want to win? You got to run. You got to, you know, get in a race, do some. Try to make it Lord willing to the finish line. Because all the works that we put in from the studying to the, you know, reading and doing the videos, hitting the highways and byways, charity. The Lord said, I ain't forgetting none of that. We just got to believe that faith. The Lord gave us the gift, the greatest gift on the face of the earth, which is faith. Look, let us use it to the best of our ability. Whatever measure of faith you have been given, let us all use it to the best of our ability. What the Lord said again, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. This is just something quick. I was just sitting back, just meditating on how much of a blessing it is that the Lord has called us to push this word. You know, he didn't call every Israelite man to push this word. The Lord is actually allowing us to push this word to give warning before he make his second return. You see, it ain't gonna be no uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You, look, look, let's do it. Let's let's do something. Let's do it for the Lord. You see, what the scripture say: we endure all things for the elect's sake. Let's do it for the Lord. Let's do it for the elect and push. Let's get it again. Hebrews six and ten: for the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Only thing we can do is just do the best that we can. Which you have showed towards his name. And that's the most important thing of this doctrine of ours. This ministry. This truth. The most important thing is the name. Because without the name, there's no doctrine. Okay? Without the name, there's no ministry. You see? We look. Look. We got to come in that name, the proper name in the Hebrew tongue, the Heavenly Father, the Most High, Yahweh. He is, He exists, who they even call God, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. He saves, He delivers, who they even call Jesus. Which you have showed towards His name. When we put in this work, when we go to the highways and byways, when we make these videos, we show brotherly love. We do it all in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And the Lord said, you think I'm going to forget that? You think I'm going to forget that? 
in that ye have ministered who was put on the earth to serve. The Lord made us servants, all right? The word minister means to serve. The saints are the Hebrew Israelites. Negroes, Latins, Native American Indians. Israelites has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that may look like these heathen nations. But your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And do minister. We got to continue to serve. We got to continue to feed our Abaratazai, Lord's will. We continue to serve. That got to be our mind state. We got we to think more like winners. You see? Go hell. Because if you're not thinking like a winner, you're thinking like a loser, and that means you're doubting. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. You see that? To the full assurance of hope until the end. Because once again, we're prisoners of hope. All we got is this word. All we got is hope. That we make it. That we endure until the end. Confessing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? That we be not slothful, not lazy in the spirit. Spirit pretty much got to be on fire. The Lord said he don't want us lukewarm. He want us either cold or hot. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith, remember our forefathers, the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning, that we through patience and, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Faith, man. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise we read about our forefathers who suffer. They, they suffer. But that faith got them over that hump though, didn't it? Let's see what I, I want to get on. Um, bear with me. Second Timothy chapter one. I'm just hitting some points. Because remember we just read um, through patience and, and, and faith. Meaning we're going to suffer, but it's all good because we're doing it for the Lord. We're doing it for salvation. Let's get this, though. Second Timothy 1, and um, we'll start at 7. For the most I have not given us the spirit of fear. Because when that fear started kicking in, that's when that doubt started kicking in, right? But of power and of love and of a sound mind. A clear mind, right? The Lord has given us the type of mind to think clearly. To make our reliable decisions, right? It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. You know, the testimony goes back to prophecy. You see, don't, don't be ashamed to go out there and preach the gospel. Because remember, it says, um, warn to me if I preach not the gospel. We, we got we got to do something with the talents that we have been given. And keep that faith in Yahweh Bashim Shah. The Lord said He's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. Each brother bringing something to the table. And the Lord saying, I'm not gonna forget it. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker. Of the affliction of the gospel. Get a look, look, get involved. Look, get involved. Be a partaker, be thou, but be thou partaker of the afflictions, the sufferings of the gospel according to the power of the Most High. Once again, verse 8 Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh, who has saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which has given us in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach before the world begins. So you got certain spirits on the face of the earth. And the phone chimed in. You got certain spirits on the face of the earth. This, this is what their job was going to be. Before the earth was even created. To come down and push this word. 
before the earth was even created, man. Certain Israelite men was created to come preach this word. Before the world began, man, you, you can't beat that. And Lord willing, we of that number. So, so we can't be ashamed to preach this gospel. Be a partake. Look, look, get, get involved. Let's get this, get this. Going right back to Hebrews. Hebrews 11th chapter. Just something quick. I was just sitting back just meditating on how beautiful it is to be a part of this ministry. To actually have been called, Lord willing, we're part of that chosen. To preach this gospel, man. You see, the God of the heavens and the earth have chosen certain spirits to come down here, Israelite men, to come down here and teach this blessed word. Give our people warning. Go through the sufferings and later on be crowned by the hands of Lord Yahweh Shai. You know you can't beat that, man. Hebrews chapter 11. I'm just going straight to the point. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, and it reads, but without faith, and faith is to believe in something that you don't see, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Remember, he's not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love. The Lord said, I'm going to reward those that was diligently seeking me. That was doing what I commanded them to do to the best of their ability. In a world that was full of wickedness, lewdness, where pretty much everybody was rebelling against the words of the Lord, they stood firm. They believed in my words. They believed in me, even though they hadn't seen me. What does what the scripture say? Believeth all things, suffereth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. And Lord willing, we have that number. We got a good chance of making it, man. Being delivered, man. Out of this destruction, this coming. The Lord got us confessing his name, so it, it, it is what it is, man. You see, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, how about Shem Yashai got us confessing? I want to get that right quick. St. Matthew chapter 10. I got one more after this. Like I said before, just, just something quick. I was just sitting back thinking. I was watching um, Elder Ariala's video that he did earlier about just getting involved and having the faith. You see, putting your faith into action, things of that nature. And just becoming kingdom minded, you know? Um, this is um, St. Matthew chapter 10. And that lesson moved me to want to do something right quick. St. Matthew chapter 10. And most definitely confessing the name of the Lord. Lord Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, down here, man. Yeah, yeah, we, we confessing our, our power's name openly. Openly to the whole world. We're not denying our power, man. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse, uh, let's see, 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. And that's, and that's what we do, starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops, a great millstone. We confess Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus to the whole world. Why, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? We have been given the names back. Why wouldn't we? We're, we're seeking salvation, and salvation only comes through Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. No, no other name. So why wouldn't we? You would, you would be a fool not to confess those names. That name is a strong tower. Those names are, are a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Not the wicked Israel. The righteous run into it and is safe. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I also confess before my Father which is in heaven. So you confess Lord Yahweh Shai, he's going to confess you to the Father, man. The Most High Yahweh. But whosoever shall deny me before men, how do you deny Lord Yahweh Shai by not saying his name? Him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. 
Because who's coming back to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel? Yahweh Shai, Lord Yahweh Shai, and the heavenly host, man. The Lord has given us the gift of faith to, to believe that we can be delivered and make it out of this hell hole. I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. I want to read this. I got one more after this. This is Tobit chapter 13, verse 6. If you turn to him with your whole heart, your whole mind, meaning repent and turn back to the God of the Bible, right? With your whole mind. And look, look and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him. Flee from sin as, as if it was a serpent, right? Walk uprightly, deal uprightly, Israel, before him. Then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth. You see, you see that? Turn from your wickedness, seek the Lord and confess him with your whole mouth. You see, Kahalayam Layahau Bashimel Shah, you don't deny the Lord in front of these in front of these sinful people, in front of these wicked people. Nah. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth. And praise the Lord of might and extol, and extol the everlasting king in the land of my captivity. Do I praise him? Because we're slaves right about now. You got Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that are confessing their name, going right back to Baruch. I think it's the second chapter. In the land of that captivity, they shall praise the name of the Lord. That's what we're doing right about now. That's what the hopeful elect is doing right now. In the land of that captivity, do I praise him and declare his might and majesty? To a sinful nation, to the Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. That's what we do week in and week out, man. All right? Regardless if they hear for a bear. Oh, ye sinners, with a sin transgression of the law. Oh, ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? Look, we don't know. So therefore, the Lord has given us the opportunity to do what is right. Then you do it to the best of your ability. With your whole mind, you confess the Lord and turn back from wickedness. And that's what the Lord has put his spirit on the hopeful elect to do. Regardless of what everybody else doing, man. You see, we look, look, we're seeking the Lord. We're calling on the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Second Ezra chapter 2. Second Edges chapter two. Just hit. I'm gonna hit this last little point, then I'm gonna wrap it up. Remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love, if we endure to the end. Right. Second Edges chapter two. Verse. Uh, let's see. I just want to hit a point. Let's see. Let's see. 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praise the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature. Taller than all the rest. This is Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus. They're talking about. Ezra is talking about. Once again, 43, 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 43. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. And was more exalted. Don't, don't don't you and this and this your um your goal. This should be our goal. This should be our mind state. You see, this is what we should be fighting for, to receive a crown on our head from Lord Yahweh. Right? It says um he and look and, and every one of their heads he set crowns. This is that one hundred and forty four thousand that Ezra was seeing, and was more exalted. Which I marvel 
at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And and he answered and said unto, unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortality, couldn't die. You see? And have confessed the name of Yahweh. You, you, you see that? You see that? The Israelites that are not confessing the name, you got these Israelite men down here not confessing the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Tony, you can just call them anything or either we don't have the name. Well, Ezra is seeing the elect men of the nation of Israel, that 144,000, the governing body of the nation of Israel, being crowned by Lord Yahawashai for confessing the name. Lord willing, we some of those men, Lord willing, and have confessed the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Look, the son of the Most High. Two separate entities. You got the Heavenly Father and he's got, and you got his only begotten son. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, Yahweh. Right? Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Who they even call Jesus. That's the Heavenly Father's only begotten son, whom they have confessed in the world. So we ain't have to wait. The whole for elect, the men that was getting crowned, the 144,000 elect men of the nation of Israel that was getting crowned, they ain't have to wait till they got to the kingdom to confess the name of Lord Yahweh Shai to the world. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the world. They confess them in, in their captivity. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And all this was written for our learning, man. Yeah, I just want to do something real quick, man, on just pushing the word to the best of our ability. The Heavenly Father said, look, he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The Lord ain't forgetting nothing, man. Just got to keep pushing. Remember Romans 8 chapter. You want to reign with Lord Yahweh Shai? You got to suffer with him. Lord willing, the elect is edified. Shalom.